Hey everyone, and welcome to Ink Spotlights from Comics Well Spring. This is the series where we shine the spotlight on immensely talented creators who print with us. Today, we're joined by Theodore Riddle and Rich Fassier to talk about some of their book, their journey, and a little bit more. Thank you for joining us today and stepping in the spotlight. So excited to talk to you guys. Why don't you tell us about your most recent book? Um, basically, uh, um, the title is um, The Dragon King God Killer. <laughs> That's pretty... Uh, Stunning if you hear the title and don't read the book. Um, um, Rich has been my moral conscience when you're talking about killing God. Um, and and it actually, God does die. But um, it, it's a love story um, between um, the Dragon King and his queen, who he accidentally kills by being tricked by Lucifer. Um, it's Lucifer's in the story, and he is cursed with immortality by the dragon, and he turns into the dragon, and he, he, he travels throughout the universe looking for his, his queen who died, and it's basically a, a love story throughout eternity, and um, he does by the third issue... Um, it's a three-issue miniseries, and um, he finds his woman in heaven, and he can't go in because he's immortal. And um, so he's that's the catch. So, um, and eventually he has to battle with a god, and he can't go in until the end of time. And then once the end of time, and he kills God, then he can he dies. And he goes into heaven with her. And um, he actually destroys the entire universe. There's a multi-universe, because as you well know, there's many universes created every millisecond. And um, I don't want to give it too much away because I want people to read it, you know? Yeah. So um, that's basically the preference behind the whole thing. And it has a very good ending. Everyone goes to heaven. All religions, all a face, you know, because there's Jewish, there's uh, Hinduism. That was rich. I had a dad because he was my conscience, you know, um, and it was, and he did a fantastic job because I can't spell with heck or, or, or grammar, you know, and he must have went over to sing five times for me. I love that. Yeah, we all need a good editor on all of our projects. Yeah. You know, uh, believe True. me, that's why I have Alex looking over everything I type or write ever. You know, that's, that's a big factor. Are you an artist too? Uh, I, I'm a, mostly a writer. Yeah, mostly a writer. I, dra oh. I dabble in art as well, but uh, and Alex as well as a writer. Um, and so we, we dabble in the art just to, you know, try to get a, an idea out or a point across. But, you know, we're not at those levels yet to be spinning them out for, for books just quite yet but uh no an editorial role is very vital when it comes to the script and when you're juggling so much like this um mm -hmm. what i find super fascinating this is such a great story i'm hearing from you guys what what brought about this story and what got you like on the road of creating it well um <laughs> i had a real bad experience uh, i you don't need to get into it but um i was so upset when i got home I was up the entire night um, because it was like a, 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 a month or so hospitalization mm -hmm. where I was very sick and uh, hurt. And um, I came out of it, as Rich says, they knock you down, but you keep getting up. And um, and then that night I was up, I, I thought of the whole story. I said, God's got to die for doing this to me. And, but then I softened as Rich um, counseled me. And, you know, the fact that I always kept getting up my whole life and fighting. Um, and that's basically what the whole world does. You know, the, the dinosaurs are extinct and um, the birds here are dinosaurs, you know. And uh, the Ice Age came and uh, we survived it and nuclear wars and wars and we still survived it and god just has a way of restoring life um to the planet and he never lets us die i mean we, you know we, we do pass away from this earth 
um, and hopefully there's a place we can go. Um, but that's um, basically my philosophy. Oh, that's awesome. That that dives so deep into what people can expect from this book and what to look forward to as well, because everyone goes through that turmoil point in their life where you probably question some things, you're really looking yeah. for answers, there's some things you just can't explain, and you, 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 you a big question is always why, you know, um, and yeah. just how can this happen and just why, and, you know, and I... Why I, I it's, yes why me like why out of everything why is this happening to me in this moment and you know there's so many ways that that question can go and that answer can go um and i love right. how it brought you know whenever big moments happen in life i too you know whenever there's something i seem to make a story out of it and when you're mm -hmm. able to express yourself and pour yourself into a story and really get those thoughts and feelings out you kind of come out of it a little bit healed and a little bit of a yeah, different understanding and um mm -hmm what you're doing is passing on survival information. Like we like to say, because every story is survival information. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, critical, like life or death survival or just situational survival information, yeah. but you're passing along something to someone else who may need that, you know, may need that story, yeah. that, that connection. And I feel like this book in particular is going to resonate with a lot of people. Um, just from experience. So. Yeah. Where and, can people... uh, oh, no, go on, go on, please. Uh, uh, I sent out a survey um, about the book and on on Facebook and uh, asking what people would look for in a comic book, you know, as I was writing. And some people said they didn't want wars, they didn't want death, they uh, they wished they didn't have bad things happen to them, they wanted peace on earth, and like those were key elements I was looking for in writing the story. So, um, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, no, no, I love it. No, that's, that's, that's awesome to hear because, you know, hearing what the audience is looking for or not looking for kind of gives you answers of like, well, what, why don't I poke that direction a little more and see why they're afraid for that answer? Or, you know, maybe I avoid that because it doesn't revolve into what I'm doing in general, but I love how you look for feedback from your audience as you're diving into mm -hmm. something like that. That's a unique thing to do for creators in general, I feel. Um, no, where can, you know, how did you two come into partnership? How did your uh, whole, your team come to play? Go ahead, Rich. You, this is your game. Oh, we met online. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, we met online, me and Ted. We got talking about creating mm. comic books. Mm -hmm. And eventually he ended up working on a comic book about a character I created. So we ended up making a comic book about that together. And we just kept working together. Came to the Dragon King God Killer. Kept working on that as well, same. Over 20 years. Yeah. And this comic book is a bit different too than anything you usually see, because I review comic books, right? And he created a group for us. On Facebook, yep. Yeah, we got a couple hundred members now. Keeps growing all the time. Because, you, as you know, when you get a new comic book, especially an independent. Where is that at? The internet wigged out just a little bit. I couldn't quite hear that. I added a link. Oh, cool. No, yeah, I we'll added add a link. A link. Uh, I added a link to um, the information on that you requested to the Facebook group called the Dragon King God Killer. And anybody's welcome to join the group. And Rich is the admin of the group. He's taking care of uploading all the pictures and all the copy and obviously editing it. And uh, he's, he's gathered every single member because I haven't had to do a single thing. I love it. That's such a good resource for a yeah, community to head towards art. as well. We'll make sure that link is in the episode description for people to check out. Is there also awesome? Um, and is there a, a website or where can people go to find your work? Where can they find the story to to read it? Well, it'll be in the group. Most information. Oh. It will be sold on eBay and through PayPal. It'll be released. Uh, actually, uh, she said I could show this. This is the yes. um, cover. Um, it's Ooh, a mirror image. So beautiful. This is a cover. This is a hollow uh, chrome cover. You guys did a fantastic job printing this. 
And cool. um, and um, I'm going to uh, um, right after Christmas, I'm going to print um, uh, another 50 to 25 copies uh, without the hollow chrome, just the uh, the 100 pound um, gloss cool. with 80 pound interior, and I'll be able to sell them as the first tier. And this is going to be the second year, kind of like a, um, um, a Kickstarter that's nice. self-funded. I haven't asked for any money from anybody yet. Oh, you know, awesome. I'm just doing this all by myself. That's awesome. We can't wait to check that out. I can't wait to check it out myself. This sounds like such an intriguing story, such a, a great you. mission that you're on just to express this and, you know, and sharing what you, you know, maybe you're, you're sharing in the story, some of what you went through or connecting a little bit with it, but just knowing that there's that behind it, behind the story makes it that much more powerful. And I think reading it, you know, when I check it out, I think it's going to be that much more <laughs> endearing and exciting for that. Um, I yeah. love knowing like where the stories came from um, and how they come about because how they're expressed and seen, you know, uh, uh, somebody walking by may just think it's another, you know, a dragon story or something, but there's so much passion behind it clearly. And I hope, you know, mm -hmm. our audience and our readers get to, you know, hear this message and hear about this a little bit so they can, when they read the story, they'll be able to feel that as well. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm so glad both of you stepped in the spotlight uh, today, uh, having, you know, both Theodore and Rich here, having an editor and a creator with us is always very exciting. Um, we'll be looking forward to the next installment whenever you have it ready please fill out another form we'll bring you back on the spotlight we'll highlight oh, what you're doing you. yeah whenever you have anything upcoming we would love to talk about it and broadcast it a bit more um and it sounds like you've been at work for a while and it sounds like you might yes, have more stories after this project so far love it. it's it's that's passion right there you know that's a lot yeah. of hard work hands down yeah um i love it do you guys want to give any shout outs or uh any anything you want to direct an audience to before we sign off um not really if if they want to purchase it, just look for it on eBay. And because after um, Christmas, everybody's broke, you know, and it'll be re released in February on um, eBay. And they, they can they'll have my uh, email that Rich will post on the, um, the group and they can pay me through uh, PayPal and it'll be mailed to them, you know, and everything will be taken care of. Um, and uh, that's basically all I have to say about it. And I'm very thankful that you uh, offered, invited me to the show, Rich and me. And um, this is a Thanks. great opportunity. Oh, of Thank course. you. Yeah, definitely. We can't wait to have you guys back. Mm -hmm.